My name is Karen Ibasco, representing the Pearl of the Orient Seas, Philippines. My country is found in Southeast Asia and is composed of more than 7,100 beautiful islands. The Philippines has a variety of natural resources, biodiversity, rich and diverse cultural heritage, and unforgettable tourist destinations from white sand beaches, breathtaking sceneries, to adventurous mountains. Some of these well-known destinations that are famous for both local and foreign tourists are Coron Palawan, Boracay Island, Puerto Princesa Underground River, Banawe Rice Terraces, and Mayan Volcano. There are also many ecotourism spots that are not very much known to many. In Luzon, there is Mount Bulag in the province of Benguet. In Visayas, there is Sohoton National Park in the province of Samar. And in Mindanao, there is Mount Tipuong Kibok Kibok Natural Monument in the province of Camiguin. I'm a half Filipino and half Chinese, but 100% Filipino by heart. Born and raised in the Philippines. I'm a medical physicist by profession. I worked in one of the most prestigious hospitals in the Philippines under the Department of Radiation Oncology. I also taught in the University of Santo Tomas as an instructor teaching mathematics and physics. As a physicist, I understand the importance of daily consumption of energy. That is why I'm advocating about the conservation of energy and the embrace of renewable energy in exchange for fossil fuels. As the Philippines has signed a Paris Agreement, I continually participate in cutting the excess of carbon emission and limiting the global temperature rise to save the Earth. As we fight against climate change, we are promoting ecotourism to preserve tourist destinations for people to see and enjoy. One of the greatest voice you can give is leading by example to the people around you. There are simple ways we do this by using the five R's. The first one is rethink. In all our ways, we should always remember that we should be socially and environmentally responsible because the earth is our common home. The second is reduce. Conserve energy as you use your appliances, gadgets, and equipment. As our era is about the modernization of technology, the care for Mother Earth should not be compromised. Diversify your diet by eating more vegetables and less meat. In this way, we are reducing greenhouse gas emissions. The third is reuse. Let us embrace the use of eco bags in exchange for plastic and paper bags. The fourth is recycle. Repurposing or rather upcycling is one of the most creative ways to help the environment by thinking out of the box. And lastly, but surely not the least, is respect. Having this will give us the foundation and drive for heeding the call to be good stewards of God's creation. As a former teacher, I believe that education is one of the greatest investments. Start students as young as they are, and they will be equipped to continue the work we have started in preserving the environment. That is why I love doing school tours in different cities, because I know the significance in contributing to the next generation. I also participate in different tree planting and cleanup programs. I understand that taking part is the responsibility of setting an example for others to do the same. The Philippines do not contribute as much greenhouse gas emissions compared to developed countries, but we are one of the most vulnerable countries to experience the effects of climate change due to our geographical location. That is why I'm honored and privileged to represent my country in taking the responsibility of being an advocate. Since a country contributes to a huge amount of daily consumption of energy, it will do a big help to the environment as we cut carbon emissions by embracing renewable energy and also doing our part as individuals in putting awareness into action by living a greener lifestyle. I want to be the next Miss Earth 2017 because I want to be a global advocate and using this as my platform to share my voice, my advocacy and be a great example to other people as I represent the scientific community in catering environmental awareness to people's consciousness because I believe that our micro efforts will have a macro effect if we all work together to save our Earth.
I am Karen Yabasco, your Miss Philippines Earth, and I 